Hey there friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and we're back with another awesome lesson. Today we're going to use Tinkercad, and I'm going to show you how to make it be your first project on the Globeforge. So my friends, let's get cracking. We are going to create a simple little sign that has our name on it, sign with your initials after it, and press enter up in the box. All right, friends, so with our project named, I want you to simply bring out a cube. And this cube is going to be the back of our sweet sign. When you bring it out, I want you to take the little black handle, stretch it to crazy numbers, and then change it to 100 by clicking the box and typing the number. We're going to take this black handle from the middle, and we're going to drag it a ways, and then type the number 50 out here in the box. So what we've got is a rectangle. We're going to make it look like cardboard, and my cardboard is mostly 4 millimeters thick, so I would like you to make yours 4 millimeters thick as well. And then just so it's visually more realistic, let's make it brown. Take this little stand and move it down to the bottom. This is what your words are going to be put on. And then go to the all shapes and move down to the bottom and switch to page two. Find the sweet script font, backspace over the word text, and type your first name and press enter. This is going to be the set of letters that you're going to cut out. I want you to stretch them out so that they're almost the same. And remember that this is 50 long. I want you to make your words using this little black handle somewhere in the 35 to 40 range. So that way they're going to fit on our little board. I would like you to make sure you squeeze your name in. If it's small, that's how it's going to be. We just want to make sure that these cut quickly on the Glowforge so everybody gets a chance. You can make your words any color you want. It does not matter. They're going to just be cardboard color when we're finished. Once again, we can make it more realistic by making that piece of cardboard four millimeters thick as well. So now we've got the back and we've got the words. We need to create the stand. And what I'm going to do is walk you through how to create this sweet little stand. So then we're, when we're done, we will cut out this piece, this piece, two of the stands. You will have to glue your letters on, but then you will have an awesome little cardboard stand with your name on it. So real quickly, here's how we make this happen. First, click on the little piece of cardboard, duplicate it, bring it over to the side. And then I want you to rotate it, staying close to these little lines, until you have this 67 and a half one. Then do D to drop it to the blue work plane. And then we need to raise it up off the ground five clicks. So I'm holding control, and I'm tapping one, two, three, four, five to raise it up. Next, bring out a little cube. We're going to make this cardboard thickness just because it makes more sense. So there's our four for how thick it's going to be. And now I want to take its length, and I'm going to tell you that a good size is 30. And we are also going to use 30 for its height. I'm going to pull it out in front of my shape. And now I'm going to draw a rectangle that selects them both. And I'm just going to line up the front edges by clicking that button right there. I want to pull it a whole centimeter out in front. I'm going to do that by switching the grid to 5 millimeters. And then with the arrow keys, two clicks moves it out in front. So now you can see that this will sit down inside this groove when we make it a hole. So it's going to cut out that shape. We're going to flatten out the front of it by bringing out another box. And we're going to raise it up one centimeter by doing control up two more times. Just like that. That'll give us the nice height that we have right there. The last part is to cut off this little piece. We are simply going to hit the work plane, connect it to the slanted piece, and then drop that cube so that it's going to cut that whole piece out. They're a little bit off on the spots, but watch this. It does not matter. If you grab it so it's just selecting those four shapes and hit group, you've all of a sudden got your cool little part that's going to hold it up. Let's set our work plate back down to the ground. And let's lay our shape down so that it's ready for printing. Notice you have to have everything flat. We're going to hit D to drop it. And now you are ready to create your awesome little cardboard name stand. To do this, we want to export each piece separately. So I'm going to start with the name. To export anything in my classroom, you need to find the empty tools folder 
And in this list of folders is a special one called Shortcut to SDL. You need to right click that and you need to pin it to your quick access so that it's always available. Make sure you help your neighbors with that one as it is essential. Once you've got that done, click on your first piece. I'm going to do the words and then we are going to export for laser cutting. Once you click that button, wait a moment for the save location to appear. And then in the STL folder, you need to put sign and you need to label this as words. So that's the first piece of the file. Click on the second one. You must also do export there, still as an SVG. Once again, we're only doing one piece at a time. And this one is back. And then the last piece that we need to get is the stand. Once again, export SVG and make it stand. Now we do these separately so that way we can move them around in the Glowforge software. The Glowforge software is attached to the Kid Harmon account. You'll have to ask me to sign in. When you get there, you're going to click on MT and choose sign into the Glowforge and then just choose sign in. This is something that you're going to always do with me, but I can have you set it up. Once you hit upload, you'll be able to click on that STL folder and you will find your pieces. You can load them in any order you want. Click one of them. And once it launches, you can click add artwork, upload, and bring in the back. When that finishes, you can also click add artwork and bring in the stand. In the Glowforge software, we need to click on the enter settings and then we need to use the cut feature. Not engrave score or ignore, we want cut. And there's a special one called 0, 01, 200, 100, and then 4 millimeters, or that's how thick our cardboard is. Once you click that setting, your words all of a sudden show up with red because they're going to be cut. Move them efficiently on the cardboard switch to the other piece and choose its settings as well they are the same move it over to where it can be cut remember we need two of these so do Control c and Control v if you click once they are easy to move the second time you try and grab them a lot of times you can miss arrange them nice and close together so we use the cardboard efficiently and then do the same thing for the last one when you've got all four pieces, your words, the back, and the stands, we need to click Select Material, Specify Material Height, and we need to write down that we are using 4 millimeter thick cardboard. So it refocuses, and you can double check to make sure it looks good. When you've got this done, come talk to me about your settings. If I've approved them, then we can click the Print button, and we can watch the magic happen. All right, friends, so this is the best part of the Glowforge. It gets sent. It turns white. Once I approve it, you can tap the button. And right there is what it looks like for the laser to go. Alrighty friends, so after about a minute 50, we have got little parts that we can now pull out and glue together really quickly as you make your own awesome little name stands. Totally stand up on their own. These are just stuck in. There is no glue. They just fit so well that it turns out like that. You could paint them, decorate them, just have a blast, but it is a sweet first project for any kids using a Glowforge. Alrighty friends, so there is a sweet little fast lesson done in a web browser. Any age kid could complete it and you learn how to export as an SVG with free materials and you end up with something you can take home and be proud of. If you found the video useful friends, please hit that like button. If you got a question, comment or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.